Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you for joining me here again today. So in my haul, when I talked about this fragrance, I promised you guys that I would spend some time with it and that I would come back and review it on its own for you. So that is exactly what I'm doing today. So today we are talking about Sugar from Frank Boclet. Can we just admire this bottle for a second? Absolutely beautiful. Fun fact about Amber, in case anybody cares. I'm not really a glitzy, glamoury kind of girl. I'm not super, super girly. I do love makeup, I do love dressing up and all of that good stuff, but I don't like pink. I don't like sparkly things. So this speaks to me on a personal level. I am just a fan of metal. I just think metal is so cool. I love hammered metal, textured metal. I just love, I don't know, to me this this to me is more my vibe than like a bottle encrusted with rhinestones. Does that make sense? So Frank Boclet is just speaking to my heart right here. I just think it's amazing. Not to mention this box that it came in. I know that I showed this to you guys before, but again, we're just admiring the craftsmanship here. It says Frank Boclet, excuse the smudges. This is like a faux leather box. I'm pretty sure it's cardboard, um, but then you open it up and it sits just like that. And you just feel like royalty. Again, um, I got an insane, ridiculous deal on this and I could not be happier to have this in my possession. So I was very confused when I first started trying this fragrance because whenever I am in the mood to start trying new fragrances or to research, I go onto Fragrantica and I just start looking for things that have notes that I'm interested in. I'm very, very interested in marshmallow notes right now, and I know that sounds juvenile, but I don't mean necessarily gourmand marshmallow. I just love what marshmallow does to a fragrance. I think it just gives it this smooth richness about it. Sometimes it can be sweet, but it doesn't have to be. And sometimes it's just very unique and I think it just vibes really well with my, with my body chemistry and I think it smells really good when I wear it. So this is all about marshmallow. And, um, but this is a very, very different marshmallow than you will ever try in your entire life. So it does have some cassis in there. There's this greenness in the opening. It's almost like alpine menthol. But yeah, there's this cassis and bergamot note and it's just very, very present in the opening and from the bottle. And But as you start to spend time with it, the marshmallow comes out and there's this boozy quality to the marshmallow. And so it never really dries down to like the s'mores, you know, you know, marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works kind of situation. It never goes there. It never gets smoky. It never gets really vanilla. So fun fact, if you're not a fan of vanilla and if you're not a fan of gourmands, you will absolutely love this because this just smells like a black tie boozy, grown up, overpriced marshmallow, like I said in the review last time. It's so elegant and it's so different. I feel like this is just the epitome of niche. It's niche quality, it's niche composition, it's blended to perfection. It takes on this life of its own. There are like 12 to 15 notes listed in this if you look this up on Fragrantica, so I'm not even going to attempt to remember all of them. But like I said, it's not gourmand. It, there's caramel listed in here. There's some fruits listed in here. I get absolutely zero fruit. I get no fruit. I get no caramel. I get a touch of vanilla. I get the marshmallow, but it's paired again with this minty, boozy quality. And when I first sampled it, I don't think I was a really big fan but there's something so intriguing and so unique and so different about this fragrance that I just kept spraying it. And it's extrait de parfum, so it is so concentrated. It's like 60% concentration. And so this is going to last you hours and hours and hours. I don't think I will ever get to the bottom of this bottle, but I'm very excited at the chance, hopefully, to wear this around the holidays. I hope maybe my husband and I can go out for a date with everything that's going on in the world. Maybe not. This is just so beautiful, and I think Frank Boclet has just won my heart. Um, 
from the, the juice inside to the packaging. This whole vibe is just so me. I just love, I love everything about this fragrance. I really, really do. And I don't ever really wanna talk about fragrances on this channel that I, that I hate because I just feel like what's the point and I wouldn't own the bottle anyway. But you know, I, I'm very, you know, I am comfortable saying, hey, these fragrances just didn't work for me. That might be an interesting video for you guys to watch. But yeah, as far as possessing fragrances, it doesn't make sense to me to, to obtain bottles of fragrances to review on this channel that I don't genuinely like. I feel like it's a waste of time. Again, if that's something that you guys would still be interested in, in hearing about, I don't have bottles that I don't like and I won't keep bottles that I don't like. You know, if you guys wanna hear about fragrances that just didn't work for me, I'm down to do that too. Anyway, that's beside the point. So anyway, so this is from his Rock and Riot collection and I cannot wait to try more fragrances from this line. He also has a line that looks similar to this, but there's white bottles and it's the Just Married collection. And I think there's one called Velvet that I wanna try from that too. But truth be told, I wanna try absolutely everything. I highly recommend you get your hands on a sample of this. It's completely worth it and it, it does not smell like anything that you have ever tried. So that is Sugar from Frank Boclet. I actually heard about this brand from several other fragrance reviewers here on YouTube. But like I said, it came up in a search that I did specifically looking for fragrances with the note of marshmallow in it. So I was very intrigued. It kept coming up in other searches and was related to other fragrances that I was interested in trying. And so I dove into researching the brand itself. More of his fragrances are going on my very long, never ending wish list. Fun fact too, if you find that this is not giving you the traditional sweet marshmallow vibe that you want it to, fragrance at any price point, you can make it work for you in some way, form or fashion. So I've talked about Choco Musk from Al Rehab, this oil, it's like a sweet um, vanilla, slightly cocoa powder oil. I've layered, I've layered these two together, amazing. I've even talked about Vanille from Outremer and I've layered these before, absolutely amazing. Not sorry about it. You can layer fragrances however you want with whatever you want. You make your fragrance work for you. You're the one dishing out the coin for it and there are really no rules when it comes to how you wanna smell. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much again to people who are just so supportive and loving on me on social media, sharing my channel. Um, I just can't thank you guys enough for the support. So with that, I want to specifically give a huge, huge thank you and a shout out to two particular people on Instagram who have given me a shout out and some recognition on my Instagram page and on my channel. And they did not have to do that. They were incredibly generous, incredibly kind with their words. And through those posts, several people have subscribed to me both on Instagram and on YouTube. And so I just wanted to say a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart to Maria Colette. She's so lovely. I will link her channel down below for sure because she is so entertaining. She's so funny. She's so quirky and bubbly. She's got such a fun taste in fragrance. And I think a lot of people would just really love to follow her. There's a gentleman named John who gave me a sweet shout out as well. His name, I will link, I will link his Instagram handle down below. I think it's Scented Snowdrops, if I'm not mistaken. Again, both of those will be in the description box down below. But it was just so humbling. Um, everyone in the fragrance community, as tiny, I mean, micro does not even describe my channel. As tiny as my channel is, I just feel like everyone who I have come across already has been so kind. And so I just can't say thank you enough and it just makes me so excited to expand my community here to get to know more of you and to collaborate with some of some of you in the future. With everything that's going on in the world, it's just so lovely to see people supporting and lifting each other up instead of the opposite. I think that we need more of that in this world. So again, thank you. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, bye-bye.